This interview of Sal Monaco was recorded at Ericon, the annual event of the Buffalo Fantasy League. Please check out their website. So, six years, is that, that from uh, first starting the script, or is yes. that with, that's from first starting the script? First starting the script, picking the cast, uh, filming the movie, and then editing... Um, well, first you have to, once you finish filming and, and capturing the footage to your computer, you have to pick the takes. Then you have to make a, a then you have to make an assembly line, you know, uh, assemble, um, the storyline, and then you have to edit the scenes down, and then, uh, you have to put the music in, the dub overs, you know, the voiceovers, sound effects, whatever, special effects which I had a few put in, and then you have to do the credits, you know, and so it's a long, complicated procedure, but when doing it for the first time, um, yeah, it's crazy, especially when pretty much everyone working with you are, are first-timers, and, you know, I had, most of the actors in the first movie were either hired guns who just hired on for the movie, they wanted to do it, finish it, and that was it, or friends that were helping out who weren't really actors, who, but they were decent, you know. Um, it's amazing. Whereas uh, for, for the rest of the projects I've filmed, I've been hiring more real actors or actor students or actor wannabes, because I, I picked a lot of students for the first film, and a good majority of them were not, um, were not reliable, more than like ones. Uh, so I'm looking for struggling actors now or actors who are looking to get into the business and stuff like that and I'm trying to build a team that's actually dedicated to the long run. I mean I've kind of created a franchise with me on the mainstream not just with the movies, the short films, the TV episodes but also with a series of audio plays and a series of webisodes. Yeah. Plus um, we have my radio show, oh, I'm sorry go ahead. Oh, I, I was just going to say I'd imagine it would be good to have on a, on a resume like any credit. Oh, yeah. Well, we created an audio series called The Mighty Beyond, which not only features episodes of my universe, but also uh, other uh, audio plays, like in the old, that we try to do. And we do it as part of my TV talk show, The Oracle of Enlightenment, which is on Think Twice Radio, www.thinktwiceradio.com. And you can either look for my picture and The Oracle of Enlightenment, or you can go to thinktwiceradio.com slash monaco slash monaco dot html okay uh, uh, that was going to be the next thing monaco I asked is m-o-n-a-c-o yeah yeah i wanted some uh, websites now do you have a website specifically dedicated to the movie as well or? well we have a facebook page uh just go to facebook and type in beyond the mainstream we have a youtube page um again go to youtube and type in beyond the mainstream um and i have uh a website that I'm going to be doing housing everything under. It's vortexofenlightenment.com, um, but it's, it's currently being built right now. Okay. Now I know you have a launch coming up. After that, the uh, will your movie be available on DVD? I'm hoping. Okay. There's some things I have to work out with it because, as I said, it was my first time, and um, everything that's being shown at the premiere, plus the three other short films I made. We're all stuff I made under my old partnership with a different company. Um, everything that's been made from here on in, everything that was made after that, uh, is, is strictly my company. Um, beyond the mainstream, like we, the TV episodes, the second film, the audio plays, everything's been produced um, under under just my company with a little help from a couple other companies. But I'm not sharing the banner anymore. Um, I'll share the banner if other people invite me into their films. Like, I've done a couple films with... I've done three films, actually, with DWM Productions. I did one with Greg Lamberson and one with uh, a different company. A couple of them, actually, with a different company. But um, right now, I kind of want to produce this everything under my banner strictly for me. If anyone wants to help, I'll give them credit. But, um, like... I want it strictly to be my company doing the work this time. Um, 
And uh, I, I'm hoping for a DVD release, I'm hoping for Netflix, I'm hoping for the Independent Film Network, I'm hoping for a lot of things, but at this point we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but either way the film will be available, but uh, I'm just not sure in what format at this point. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, Sal. Um, this interview brought to you by the works of Stephen B. Pearl, the finest in speculative fiction. Please visit my website at www dot s t p h e n p e a r l dot com for more information.